there are certain journeys in life that define us, enrich and breathe life into us. For the Siro Malabar Catholics in Maharashtra, the birth and growth of the Diocese of Kalyan has been one such journey. Migration of the Siro Malabar Catholics to Mumbai and other major cities of Maharashtra like Pune, Nazik and other parts of our country started in the 1950s and 60s as a result of Indian independence, seeking employment and other better prospects of life. Hundreds of thousands of Christians of the Siro Malabar Church who thus migrated were in a totally alienated atmosphere with regard to their religious and spiritual life. In order to preserve their faith and cultural heritage intact, the Siro Malabar Catholics organized their spiritual life through the Lenten retreats and confessions, prayer meetings, holy Eucharistic celebrations, etc. arranged by various associations. The seeds of the diocese were sown in the year 1988 when His Holiness Pope John Paul II declared the erection of the Diocese of Kalia and its official inauguration took place on 24th August 1988 on the feast of Saint Bartholomew. The infantile steps in the first half of the 90s were intertwined with lots of struggles and challenges. With the dawn of the millennium, it has spread its wings to the major parts of Maharashtra through the establishments of parishes, associations, apostolates, institutions and all that is needed for an established diocese. In Maharashtra, the diocese is spread in the area of 1,45,600 square kilometers in the districts of Greater Mumbai, Thane, Raigad, Pune and Nazi along with the mission regions of Kolhapur, Sangli, Sindhutu, Reknagiri, Satara, Solapur, Dhule, Jalgaon, Nandurbar and Ahmadnagar. The pastoral care serves to the diocese effectively responding to the needs of every faithful. Today, the diocese is divided into five regions and 14 zones with respective zonal vicars and further into parishes under the care of respective parish priests.
the growth of the diocese has much to do with the tireless service and spiritual guidance of Mar Paul Chitlapalli and Mar Thomas Elevenal. It is their conviction and vision for the diocese coupled with the dedication and commitment of the priests, religious and the faithful of the diocese that enable to get on the right track of organic growth and holistic development. The diocese, with the constant efforts of almost 180 priests, along with about 300 nuns, cater to the pastoral care of around 1 lakh Siro Malabar faithful. Kalyan Eparki Youth Kalyan Eparki Youth helps its youth in identifying their spiritual existence and in tapping their potentials. Various camps like the Rain Camp, Koinonia Camp for the students of classes 10 and 12 and the Leadership Training Camp are held for the youth. Cultural fests like Talentia, Key Band, Father Sunny Memorial Choir Competitions are organized for them to explore and exhibit their talents. Retreats are conducted to enhance their spiritual development. Key Army, a prayer group in every parish, reaches to each and every youth of the diocese to nurture Catholic faith. Another vibrant organization of the diocese is Jesus Nurses Fraternity for the nurses working in the hospitals in Mumbai. There are special retreats, monthly recollections, festal celebrations of Mother Teresa, Onam celebrations and annual day celebration organized every year. They come together for different cultural competitions and make social visits to nurse the needy. For women empowerment, there is Madhra Sangam for the mothers, which is very active as well as self-sufficient. Mahila Darshan and Karuni Nidhi are some of the schemes raised to help the financially deprived girls with their marriage expenses and for those who are in financial need. There are social visits and cultural competitions organized through Madhra Sangam towards social commitment and to revive the talents of women in the diocese. There is also spiritual and moral classes organized to improve their life situation. Pitru Vedi, the pious organization of the married men, equips its members to become more organized and oriented to their families. Pitru Vedi's contribution to the growth of the diocese is commentable. Many sportive events like tug of war, badminton tournament and short play competitions are conducted annually by Pitru Vedi in the diocese. The family apostolate department conducts every year the pre-marriage course and the jubilarians meet and different activities for the families. Christ is relevant for everyone today more than any other time. Growing prominence is given to faith formation of children and youth. The spiritual growth of the diocese is very visible. Up to now, almost 35 young men from this diocese received priestly vocation and about 28 girls received vocation to religious life. In every church, catechism classes are conducted as a part of faith formation. There are various platforms created to nurture the talents of the children. There are teachers' orientation seminar, residential retreats and teachers' day celebration every year. The social activities of the diocese are carried out through the Kairunia Trust formed in May 1998. It is engaged in the development of the economically backward people irrespective of caste, creed and religion and the main areas of interventions are health, education, empowerment, relief and rehabilitation. Kairunia Trust collaborates with like-minded organizations and government agencies for the betterment of the society at large. For the good health of the people from the lower strata of the society, there are dispensaries functional in Dharavi, Ambarnath, Sakinaka, Tilaknagar and Gawandi. In 2005, during the flood in Mumbai, 96,372 families received considerable financial help through Kairunia Trust. In 198 villages, 350 health groups are working under Kairunia Trust. In 2011 onwards, Gyan Sati is working for the children at Gawandi for the betterment of the children involved in rag picking. 200 children are taught in the Gyan Sati, giving them food, education, medical care. Ashraya Old Age Home run by the diocese at Haji Malang Kalyan is a great blessing for many old people. There is also a children's home for the economically backward children. The diocese is fulfilling the mission of being a witness to Jesus 
by serving 5 crores of people from other faiths effectively apart from the fulfilling the spiritual needs of migrated Syro Malabar Catholics. On 1st May 1990, Sangli Mission, which includes Kolhapur, Sindhu Durg, Reknagiri districts, was handed over to MST Fathers. Today, Sangli Mission alone has 18 mission stations, 9 educational institutions, social action centers, orphanages, boarding for special children, old age home, and care home for the HIV infected and rehabilitation center for mentally unwell women. On 11th September 1991, Ahmadnagar Mission was given to Vincential Congregation. Ahmadnagar Mission has 9 mission stations, 3 educational institutions, and social action centers as well. On 4th October 1992, Satara Solapur Missions were entrusted to MCBS Congregation. Today, the mission region has home for mentally challenged children, Balabhavan and children's homes run in the mission region. On 2nd February 1993, Jalgaon, Dule missions were handed over to the CMIs. The Chawara mission consists of eight mission stations with many educational institutions and children's homes run by the priests and sisters. Retreats are conducted in Malayalam, English, Hindi, Marathi at Thabur Ashram. In view of the Jubilee year celebration, the diocese has seven years of spiritual preparation. The year 2007 was dedicated to the spiritual growth of the children and youth. 2008 as the year of family renewal. 2009 as the year of social commitment. 2010 as the year of priest, religious and vocation. 2011 as the year of Holy Spirit, life and evangelization. 2012 as the year of Bible and Eucharist. In preparation for the Jubilee celebrations in 2013, there was faith proclamation rally, relic procession and special prayers for the diocese in each and every parish and institution. The diocese built 30 homes for the economically backward people under the Jubilee Housing Scheme 2013. A common marriage ceremony, Samuha Vivaham, was organized by the diocese for 50 marginalized girls. Under the guidance of vibrant shepherds, it is evident that the diocese has come a long way and has indeed carved a niche in this Maratha land. Today, this diocese has become one among the full-fledged dioceses of Siro Malabar Church in India. It's crystal clear that a reaffirmation of faith has been beautifully accomplished in Siro Malabar faithful in Maharashtra. With new hopes, new dreams and new fervor, may the years ahead be a joyful proclamation of new and improved dedication to the divine call as a diocese and may it continue to serve the church and the world with unflinching commitment and zeal.